And one class of enzymes that I've worked on for many, many years now are called restriction enzymes. These are enzy enzymes that cut up DNA. And these were the enzymes that really made the biotechnology industry possible. And so when we first started cloning genes and when we first started trying to make things by recombinant DNA methods, all of this depended on restriction enzymes. It still does. And so in many ways, um, a lot of what I and my colleagues in this field have been doing has been to enable many of the basic tools that give us the biotechnology industry that we have today. And, you know, biotechnology is all around us, it's expanding, it's becoming the basis of the pharmaceutical industry, likely, <coughs> likely to have major effects on agriculture, um, just on all sorts of things. So, well, you know, if, if science is allowed to progress properly, and if we manage to get stem cell research going, um, then I think you're going to see major breakthroughs in medicine. In fact, the future of medicine, in my view, is intimately tied with stem cell research. And for us to be living in a country where the government says we shouldn't be doing it, I just find ludicrous and absolutely ridiculous. If you want the rest of the world to leap ahead of us, this is by far the best way to do it. I have never felt worse in my entire life. I, I just didn't understand all the stuff that was going on. See, the, the biggest problem when you go into a new field is that people... The school teachers around here say that it's very difficult to attract. Is it bad teaching? It's teaching. Yeah, teaching. I mean, you know, yeah, the, the real thing about science is most people become interested in science and like doing it because you can do it with your own hands. You know, you get there and... Hot evolution until I just evolution because it went against what the Bible said. And I see this is a huge problem along around the country because